What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Auto Guy DIY coming at you on another beautiful Sunday here in Southeast Texas. So check it out man, it's hot, it's super hot. So we're jumping in the four gen again. This goes out to all my guys that have sunroofs in their four gens. As you can see, I have a sunroof in mine. So the issue I'm having is I have water coming out of my pillar here, out of this bolt hole, out of here. And then out of the same one over there. So I've been doing my homework to see what's going on. I come across a couple things and I wanted to show you what I come up with. It was something I had no idea was on the truck. So let's jump right into this. I'm standing here at the passenger door. So this is really the first truck I've ever had with a sunroof. This is one of the reasons why I didn't know what was going on, but I'm glad I found it. So if you look inside your door, you can see where we're at here. And you see this right here, that's a drain. So I'm gonna pull you up here to the sunroof. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a hole down in there, right in here, right? So that's your drain. So I'm gonna get my air gun and we're gonna blow air back through it and make sure it's all clear, pour some water down in there, see if it comes out and we should be good. So give me one second, let's get this going. So we just got a little air gun, is what you wanna do. You see there's already water, there's trap water in there already. So you just wanna put it in there like so, right? And then I'm gonna keep the camera up here on the top. And then you can feel the air coming out. You just hit it like that. Now watch this. Give me a bottle of water. I'll try to give you both shots here. Whoa. So we're gonna pour water right here. That little channel, right? And then you see it right there? It comes out right there. So watch this, I'm gonna put some more water in there. And you can watch it come out. And you could also, I don't know if it'll come out dirty like that again, but it came out pretty dirty. So here we go. And there's your drain for your sunroof. So there's two on the back. I'll show you where they're at. I'll show you how I got my air gun in there. And then I'll blow air through it. And I'll have my wife get the camera and face it at the top of the sunroof. And you can hear the air coming out of the sunroof and then you know that you have two in the back also you can get them all clear and then you shouldn't have any more problems i'll show you the issue i'm having in the back and that's why i got into this because it's like the front you see where it's coming through right there on my headliner so that's because that drain's clogged up so that water's got a chance to run over into the truck so let's get this thing started real quick we'll end this video and then that'll be that so it's that little black tit right there that's your drain for the back of your sunroof i just got my i grabbed an air nozzle with a bend in it so you just got to kind of fish it in there it gets a little tricky Kind of work it in there like so. Now give me one second, I'll give you a shot from the sunroof. So this is a quick shot from the sunroof. I know you can hear that air coming through there and that's your drain on the back. You wanna hear that air to make sure that it's clear all the way and then it'll stop ruining your headliner. So I'll show you one more time, both your vents or should I say your drains for your sunroof I hope this helps some guys out with their headliners starting to get water marks like that. This is most likely the cause. So the one in the front is right here in between your door jam. That's it right there. And then the one in the back is in between your bed and your cab, which is harder to get to. But you can get to it like I showed you. So keep your drains cleared. Keep your headliner good. Keep the water from coming in your truck. However you want to look at it. 
But with all that, keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe. Always get at your boy with a comment, and I'll be getting into that instrument cluster change a little later because it's burning hot out here right now. So I'm rolling out.